just find out I cried because it was really like the perfect place, the perfect role, just everything. Oh my gosh, it was just so perfect. So it really, I, I don't understand why. Hello. It looks like it's evening or early morning, but I mean, I guess it's evening, but we still have quite a few hours to go until sunset. It's just very cloudy. Hi! Attempt number, I don't even know, to make a vlog. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I said that last time, beginning of this week, but we're gonna do this because I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a next chapter, a career, a thing to do. I don't even know what to call it because career doesn't sound right, job doesn't sound right. I don't know. Uh, but we're looking for something to do that brings in an income, but also I just love and I feel like myself. And I can wear like this stuff too. Because that is the outfit that my boyfriend got me. It's really weird to call him my boyfriend. Um, <laughs> that's the... Sorry, I'm just going to call him by name for... I don't know why I'm sorry. But anyone who gets offended by that or something. Um, that's the outfit that Nelson bought me for an interview that I didn't get to the next step with. Just find out. I cried. <laughs> because it was really like the perfect place, the perfect role, just everything. Oh my gosh, it was just so perfect. So it really, I, I don't understand why I didn't get through to the next um, step, which would have been to um, meet with the managing partner and then get hired. It really hurts my heart because I really, really wanted it. And I really felt like it was perfectly aligned their description, their mission, who they are as a culture, the role, what I've done, what I've learned about myself. So I think part of me wants to make these videos that in case anyone out there watches it, I am terrible at interviews, in person especially. I'm just terrible. <laughs> I'm terrible at selling myself. I can sell other things. I can sell like things I believe in which sounds like I don't believe in myself, but I believe in myself. There's just so much to me, so much stuff. And there's still so much like, I don't know, stuff that counters the be yourself. I don't know. It's just like, there's two parts of my brain in interviews. One, like say what they need to hear based on what you've heard that they need to hear and then say what you need to say and what you'd hope your employer would need to hear and it just gets jumbled up and I, I suck in interviews so I think that is the only reason I didn't get this job because qualified I am like aligned skill set wise and everything just is there culturally I'm there um, but I think I just wasn't able to show that at some point. So <laughs> maybe these will help. I don't know. This is kind of really, un especially today, it's definitely unfiltered. My hair looks better than other times, but it's, it's a struggle lately. I have this like situation here. Anyways, I have not made my bed. <laughs> Um, I have to put those away, I have to do a bunch of things, but welcome to my apartment. I have taken you through it a few times, but it, I've never posted it, I don't think. So, um, this is my apartment. I will show you more later when I clean it up. Uh, just pause it. That's kind of nice. Anyways, I'm applying to some job stuff. I'm watching Flip or Flop, I think it's called, with Tarek and uh, Tarek, Ta Tarek, I don't know, and Christina, and uh, I like their the latest show, the latest episodes, especially his Flip 101 or whatever. That's what I saw first and why I was watching them. I 
don't like these early seasons because of the ugly design styles that were in trend back then. All the granite and like beige. It just looks so bad. It just looks so bad. Uh, and they're like, oh my gosh, this looks great. I'm like, no, it doesn't. It never did. <laughs> but anyways, you know, different eras, different design things. Anyways, I have plants. Now, this is like the OG plant. Not the OG OG. I actually don't know when I got it. I think I killed a couple and then I got two other ones. I don't know. But anyways, this my mom gave me and it's growing it's um i feel like it's missing some nutrients but i did put some i think i put some um fertilizer and stuff but i don't know these i don't know what happened because they were super straight and now yeah so sorry <laughs> i i haven't done this in a while so please excuse me this is growing though this is going crazy um this unchanged pretty this struggling but still hanging on and these are my babies that i put a week ago last sunday today is wednesday look at that and these are two avocados that is from this yeah because it had a bunch of brown dead leaves that I cleaned it and it was very fragile, so a bunch of pieces of it came off. Um, this I got from someone at work. This is the only place in the whole apartment that is somewhat arranged, minus that little mess over there, and this stuff is not, so. And then the kitchen is what it is. Anyway, so um, I have a bunch of things to do. But I just wanted to pick up the camera and kind of just say hi and start this ball rolling. I'm also very, 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 very sore. We worked out yesterday. Oh my gosh. And, uh, oh boy. Super sore. Like, my fingertips are sore. I even made my nails. You can't kind of see, but they're like in tune with my dress shirt and i do want an employer or whoever to be someone who recognizes those efforts because that's like where i want to go next all this like oh we dress casually i'm gonna run away from you if you dress casually because to me that means you're not very modern you're not very forward thinking you're not um you don't value quality that much that's what it means to me. It's not really just to me. That's, I feel like, psychology-based. Um, you don't value quality. You'd rather just dress sloppy or sloppy or whatever. It's fine. Um, but, yeah, like, quality, how you present yourself, um, your work, collaboration is huge on top of my list. Um... And yeah, like, I know what I can do. I feel very frustrated that I probably don't know how to show that in interview way. And then I end up in these positions, roles, jobs that are just a job where I'm just, I'm not an implementer. I'll be 100% straightforward with you on that. I am not an implementer. I am not an implementer. There are people who love to implement and are designed for that. And I think there's a huge um, misunderstanding that I kind of grew up with that is different now, hopefully, for many, um, where, oh, you have to prove yourself to get to management by doing the things that you... I don't know, by being an implementer, but implementing and leading two different personalities, two different skill sets. There are a lot of bad managers as a result of that false idea that managers are good because they know how to do the work that you do. No, but that is hugely important, and I love doing that. I feel, honestly, I feel like this job, I didn't get this job because of a lot of... Um, 
things that just were not able to be communicated. I rem like the last interview I had yesterday, I had two, and then one that I, um, the one that I ended with, the guy wasn't even letting me finish. I, he was just very impatient, and maybe because they already knew that they were moving forward, but he seemed very thorough in interviewing me. But he's like, okay, okay. But, but I'm like, there's so much to me, so much that I'm looking for, so much in the, like the position, in the company. There's so much to present of myself. And there's so, and I don't know, I, I feel like it's just they didn't really get to know me. And, and I can't, it keeps hitting me, like, because this was truly like the perfect job. When I saw this, when I read this, I was just like blown away and to be honest and this is why I'm also why I'm doing this vlog um, thing again um, because I feel like maybe other people can relate to this I'm hoping that um, this is kind of at least helpful in the sense of oh that's so relatable but um, I already forgot what I was saying <laughs> which is also kind of relatable um, I don't know. I don't know. That's so frustrating. I don't know, but oh yeah, I remember. That's why I didn't really put much effort into any other applying for any other jobs because I thought this was just so perfect. It landed in my life so perfectly at the perfect time and I knew that I can do it with so much conviction and certitude uh certainty certitude what is that certainty that I really the you know having multiple eggs in your basket what's the point of that? I don't like that idea anyways. I don't like that idea in general, in life. I think, yeah, I don't know, but it is kind of what it is in our life, society, human beingness. Um, but I, I was just that certain about myself, about my skill set, about what I could bring, all that stuff. I wasn't, um, the other thing like about the interview yesterday, I thought from my understanding of what the interview about of, of yesterday was going to be was very different than what it was. Um, I was given an assignment and I was told that the interview following that was um, having a, basically a meeting to go over that assignment and, you know, kind of get um, an understanding of how I'm, I think and my brain thinks and why I made the choices that I made. So I was ready for that. Um, and yeah, I, I got a, definitely a curveball in uh, having like a full on interview interview again. So, you know, like strength and, strengths and weaknesses and blah, blah, blah. And I suck at that. I suck at that. And I think it sucks that you have to be skilled in interviewing when it's so completely unrelated. It's kind of like with tests and yeah, it's like just you can be very knowledgeful. You can be an, an incredible whatever profession, uh, professional and yet because you are just unable to take tests for a number of reasons including cognitive differences um you might never be that or you know it sucks and i think one of the things that impairs me is english as a second language um and just burnout um i'm burned out from trying to fit myself in another shape. I've been trying so hard to fit myself in roles and positions and jobs that are not me almost at all. And you get burned out when you do something that is so not aligned with your 
abilities, like physical, mental, etc. abilities. I'm great at gathering people together and making a strategy, having the big picture and um, hearing people out and saying, okay, based on that, based on the data, whether it's like a quantitative data, like numbers, etc., or people um, saying their opinions as experts or etc., um, I just, I have great intuition, I have a great ability to do that, but um, I don't have the best ability to um, communicate necessarily, communicate that um, verbally. I can do it written-wise, but verbally I don't have the best ability. And even worse is um, negotiation and um, convincing people. Uh, what's that word? There, I was <laughs> browsing some things here. Uh, I don't know. It was like, there's uh, a pretty common one that I cannot think of. Persuasion. Persuasion. I am... Um, terrible at persuasion because I've been taught as a woman, as a Romanian woman, to kind of make myself small. I'm not the decision maker, I'm like the follower. And like, you know, be quiet, be small, don't take up that much space when it comes to decisions and to um, opinions and um, those type of things. So persuasion is not in my repertoire. I was not taught to be persuasive, and I think that matters a lot. The more I think about it, this is actually, I really want to put this out there because these are things that we don't talk about. In interviews, we really expect that everyone's on the same level of um, basic uh, building blocks. And as I'm thinking about this, like, that is real. That stuff influences how you show up in interviews and how you show up in different roles. And it takes away from the skills that you have very, that are very you and very, you're very good at because of these cultural things that people just really either take for granted, don't even know they're there or like kind of dismiss and like uh brush off like uh it's you know you can always do something about that like yeah you can but it takes some time and one it takes first and foremost like awareness that happens that's happening so anyways i'm gonna go back and um do these things and uh yeah we'll talk later i'm up and down emotionally but i get definitely positive oomphs when I'm going through and jotting down what I'm good at and what I'm looking for and it's like a good reminder of who I am and what I have, what value I have to add to society and to anyone who is interested in me uh, professionally and um, anyways um and also this um helps and it helps not only because of uh, it helps for a number of reasons um it's just something that i've been for many reasons so hesitant to the point of being paralyzed when it comes to like i can record as much as i want but then when it comes time to upload it, edit it, and publish it, or even publish it without editing, I get in my head. There's so many reasons that hold me back, that have been holding me back. But I really want to, um, or I really believe that I need to push through those and get out there. Like, there's so much I have to offer and there's so much I want to accomplish and do and be and I don't want to sit on the sidelines and I don't want to, I don't know, I, 
I don't know. I don't know. Alexa came on. I'm having trouble, Haley. Can you say that again? <laughs> put her as, um, put her as a British person. Alexa, volume two. Um, because, I don't know, just, I tried it out and I think it works. And also, I had initially called her Ziggy and that was it impossible to get a hold of and when I say this word unfortunately you can't say it in conversation because it picks it up but when you say it it's much faster you think that they could improve that but anyways I will talk to you later and uh, we'll see how this goes cool bye and it's nighttime you can't see but it's nighttime um, and I made brownies don't know how they are, how they turned out. I know one is most likely. Oh no, it smells like mold. Um, one is most likely done by now. I don't know about the other one. I have these little clam things from. Let me try that. I'm gonna say Life Force, but that's not the name of the company. Always pan. There you go. So, I don't know what smells like mold. I'm very sensitive to mold. <laughs> like, I can just. Oh. <laughs> Alexa telling me it's time to go to sleep. Okay. Um, so, I just got off the phone. Sorry. <laughs> I just got off the phone with my friend after I had some bad news and I had, oh, that's like perfect. And I had a um, tough conversation with Nelson. Now I want to call him my boyfriend. Um, but yeah, because he was trying to be there for me, but I didn't really know how I needed him to be there for me and I was just having a bad day because of how the day went and the news that I didn't get the job that I wanted and I thought I was okay but then I wasn't okay and anyways and but long story short um I feel like I don't know why I said I feel like but I want to try to do this um YouTube thing and as soon as I said that it's like this dread came all, all over me I don't know why I have this with YouTube I don't know what's going on and the whole idea I have about YouTube is to take you along the journey in general of my life right now because I feel like I'm in this transition of where I want to be, where I am, and where I'm not, and all this stuff. So, <sighs> I'm deflated again. I was so pumped after talking with her. And even after talking with Nelson, I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. I have an idea. I'm going to give this a week. I'm going to try it. And now I'm like, just the, I think internally just freaking out. Like someone just caught on fire. I don't know if you're familiar with internal family systems, but basically we have these these different parts inside of us. Uh, that's one way at least to look at it. And so one part definitely is like running around caught on fire. I don't know what that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't know what that part is. Anyways, so if you're here um, wondering what I'm about and what this will be about, I don't know exactly. One thing is trying to get my diction better. Because um, I just said, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I don't know exactly. But um, it's basically me figuring life out. So there will be a little bit of psychology. There will be a little bit about, I don't know, everything. Um, not sure how much I'll share as far as like experiences. Because I don't feel like grabbing the camera all the time with me like working out for example we work out now and in theory it's like oh I'll just like film a little bit but it's awkward um 
even if I'm by myself, it's awkward to just and like li literally if I'm by myself in the whole room, it's still awkward for me to pull out the camera and film myself on the treadmill or working out. I, it, I don't know if awkward or in the sense of like embarrassing. I say awkward in the sense of I have to plan it out. I have to think about it, and I might not get the shot that I want. Um, and I don't know. So I don't know how much I'll share in that sense but I'll speak so um, if that's okay with you then we'll definitely get along if not then I'd still like to get along but you might not want to um, so yeah I'll take you um, on a ride of cleaning up my apartment and showing you my apartment properly tomorrow and tasting these brownies a little bit in a little bit but now we're going to go eat at 9.30. Oh no, sorry, 10 o'clock. Uh, I have been trying to do the 16-8 uh, intermittent fasting situation and it's been mostly useful and convenient with my stomach issues. I've gotten better. Um, yeah, digestion-wise, like I don't feel... Uh, when I go to bed with a full stomach or however strongly undigested stuff in my stomach then I don't sleep that well I get very bad nightmares a specific kind of nightmares and I don't really sleep so um that's gotten better but um because I'm basically I'm losing my dinner and breakfast because to me dinner would be around nine o'clock sometimes even ten um and not necessarily a full spread, but food, enough food, and wake up and go straight into eating. So right now it feels like I'm basically limited to lunch between noon and four. Well, I actually stopped eating at eight, so I can't say that, but yeah. Anyways, speaking of that though, I really need to go eat. It's been a very, unfortunately... not that positive day I wouldn't say necessarily negative it's just not been the best day and before I make it worse is what I'm thinking I'm just gonna try to salvage it by going to eat I'm gonna taste these brownies gonna let you know how they went and uh, yeah I don't even know what I'm eating besides I'm gonna have some potato chips with yogurt maybe I'll, I should take you on that right because um I don't think people know that's the best snack ever. Again, Diction Arena. Best snack ever. <laughs> Especially if you have low blood sugar. Um, I was thinking of telling Nelson that um, for his work. People like give crackers or pretzels or like wheat situations um, in that. And I think that's fine, but I found that like little protein and um whatever you carb i guess and the the combination works the best um and it's also fresh but not everyone can eat yogurt just like not everyone can eat wheat so yeah anyways i will talk to you soon and i will not be filming myself eating because that's awkward to me uh but that's what i'm having right now and then to be continued with, I'll let you know what else I have. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Like a week of vlogging, like old times, and see where it takes us. I have ideas. I have like things that I feel like I want to bring into the world and be in the world. So why not freaking give it a try? Because it's not like I, you know have all this other stuff going on that i can't so cool i'll talk to you later yeah hgtv that's can't believe i'm saying that's my new favorite channel show thing anyways cool i'll talk to you later bye oh yeah i forgot this is over here i made this earlier it doesn't look like much but um, that's what i'll be having for dinner i didn't feel like i wanted to have that much protein for dinner but 
why not do it tonight? Why not do it? Cool. All right, brownie time. I just had the best chicken potato situation um, and some potato chips. I really wish I could have shared that, literally shared that with you. So we're gonna try both pans. We're gonna go from the pan because I just don't feel like cutting in and <laughs> doing all that work right now. All right, this is not cooled down brownie, which is said to be the best type of brownie. My head hurts a lot. I, heard, I, I have a really, 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 really bad headache. Let's try this little thing that came up. Eh. All right. So this is like a, a smaller version because I didn't portion it out <laughs> well. Um, you can see, maybe, maybe not. Do the little annoying YouTube thing. Come on, focus on it. Focus on the brownie. There you go. It's fudgy ish. No, mm -mm. second flavor. It's lacking a lot of chocolate flavor. It's just very bland chocolate. I used the Amazon brand of chocolate chips because I got it uh, for my birthday and then I couldn't really return it or I was like, well, you know, I'll use it eventually. Don't get it, it's bad chocolate. Like, it doesn't really taste like anything. Mm. I also used um, brown sugar because that's the only sugar I have. Now, this is the more gooey one. This is eat with a spoon. Oh, that's hot. Or a knife. It's just very bland in flavor. It's one dimensional. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. I don't know what... I think that's why they add coffee to it, to brownies. By the way, I do this um, chipmunk, or not chipmunk, maybe chipmunk, but we used to have a guinea pig and he used to eat like this. <laughs> That's to taste the flavor because um, I have like ongoing rhinitis, so I don't really have that great of a taste. Some things I do, I don't know. I just saw... Tomorrow, I'm gonna try this with the brownie. I love um, orange chocolate. People love strawberries and chocolate. I think the flavor clashes, the texture clashes, the acidity of strawberries is horrible for chocolate, horrible. It's just maybe ripe strawberries, great, but the strawberries here. I've not tasted one chocolate and strawberry combination that I've liked. But orange, even though this is the epitome of of acid, acidic, um, it goes really well. So we'll try that tomorrow. Oh, I'm so glad that I didn't fall somewhere else. <laughs> It is better 
because it's not as dry, so it has more flavor as a result. Put way too much sugar. I followed the recipe, but I think because it was um, brown sugar and organic, it was too sugary, too sweet. So this is way too sweet. I don't like it. But it's okay. It's just way too sweet. Way too sweet. <sighs> and this, I have a combination. You have the gooey brownie version with the like tough brownie version. Great. The battery is about to die, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mm. Oh, pecan, pecan face. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. Bye. It is 1.24. And I had ended the vlog. But here we are. Inspired to <laughs> do some more because I was thinking, gosh darn it, I'm on my own. I'm living here. I can do vlogging whenever I want to. I can almost do whatever I want. Like leave that in the sink. Leave the dishes in the sink. And not clean them until tomorrow. <laughs> I actually don't like doing that. But sometimes I like being rebellious like that. closing up shop for today. I was waiting a very long time for the iMovie files to save. And here we are. I think I'm gonna come back for everything else, but for the water, I need a little bit more water in my water bottle. I was going to upload them today, but It was probably going to take a lot of time, and why not do it tomorrow? It's not like I have too much planned for tomorrow, except I do have a lot of things to do tomorrow. Um, but, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of doing the thumbnail and just kind of setting it up a little better. So I have all these different wires all the different chargers that I carry with me from room to room pretty much. The watch wire, I don't know why I put it there because I'm probably going to need it in the other room tomorrow. The camera wire, let me put that on the bottom. Just make that here. And then I have the phone and the, should I put the watch on top? No. Phone and the iPad. Uh, I just realized I should show you like my point of view, especially of this one, because I don't. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is one nightstand, another nightstand. I don't remember where I got this, but I got it. <laughs> that was a productive explanation. <laughs> Maybe I charged my phone. So I was actually watching 
this vlogger. My friend sent over, oh, I also want to say my friend's name is Iwana. I feel like I was saying Nelson's name, but not saying her name, but it's just somehow it makes more sense to say my friend, but my boyfriend sounds displaced. Is that the right word? It just doesn't sound like him. I don't even know if that makes any sense. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've kind of never had a boyfriend. Technically, I have, but technically, I haven't. Yeah, that didn't make sense. Anyways, so since we're at nighttime and since I haven't done anything, but I was watching her vlogs about decoration. This is not good. This is not like a piece of art, but this is kind of what I was trying to show in the other vlog. I put these blackout curtains to keep the cold away and the light away and also kind of the sound, but I can still hear the garbage truck. really strange. You know how you have the USB plug things and it's always a 50-50 chance but you always get it wrong? That's how I feel it with these turning things. So number two. And the drawstring. Also, I've never noticed that these are like backwards that way. Huh. Did I? Do I usually put that that way? Makes sense. Because these are facing, you know, away from my eyes. I don't know. Anyways, so I just wanted to show that kind of hack. And I don't know why this is so close. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Oh, so I'm this. I need to take this back. This was for the outfit. It didn't get me anywhere, but maybe it did. All right, so let's fill out the water, and here I am getting into vlogging, like taking you with me and not doing it properly. I'm just going to keep you in the dark right now. I'm not gonna put away is the chicken and the rice. Maybe I should put the chicken in. <sighs> Do I have room in here? Nope. I need to throw that away, sadly. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on being better at this. Making some room. face right now. Wait, did I get my water bottle? <laughs> I forgot my water bottle here. Uh, I need to get rid of these because they keep making noise. 
and I don't have a, anything on them. Um, I have everything. Let me to unplug my laptop to turn this down to 71. Okay. I've I think I sleep really well at 68-ish. I love sleeping at night. Um, right, yeah, during the nighttime, I love it cool, but falling asleep when it's cold, I cannot do that. So, it's always a, a tough thing. They're supposedly installing a smart home system situation. So that's gonna be helpful because then I can just turn it off here or like just schedule it like a normal person. I'm kidding. That's very first world problem thing. Anyway, so I don't close the lights. And yes, I said that. I don't turn off the lights because I can turn them off from my phone using Casa. Uh, how to explain that? Let me take you for a second. I actually probably this is better than you know what I would be doing, which is watching HGTV or Suits in bed and then staying awake because I can't put it down. It's a movie, not a book, but potato, potato. So this is Casa Link, TP Link situation. I have these cameras and that, and those lights, you'll see the lights tomorrow. So I have that and it's been helpful to just turn off the lights that way and schedule them and so forth. And yeah, so, very random. It was on top of these books, but because I was recording myself stretching and I was too sore and too tired or lazy to kind of put it like it's supposed to be in the box. I did it. <laughs> Anyways, so I just wanted to take you through that process for some reason. I'm very nauseous. I feel very weird. I feel very strange. But that helped a lot. I watched her and these two other Netherlands, Netherlandians vloggers. <laughs> and um, yeah, I didn't understand a word from their vlogs. But yeah, they're not. I feel like that's why I don't have many hopes that I'll make it because I don't do the challenges, I'm not cool, I don't drink, I don't party, I don't find things funny that people who are popular find funny, like, I don't know, making fun of people or getting drunk, I don't know, so here we are, but we shall see. Where this takes us, I am going to go to bed. I didn't, I stretched a little bit. I was supposed to stretch every day, didn't do it today. Um, but we'll just count today as an odd one. I am going to go watch maybe something else other than suits or flip or flop. And, um, yeah, I just feel very weird. By now, like, I tend to get into bed by 11, 11.30, maybe midnight. I don't fall asleep until 2, but, um, well, actually 1, um, but it's, it's weird. It's just weird. It's a weird day. I want to say goodnight to my boyfriend, but he's already sleeping, and it's weird. That part isn't necessarily weird. I mean, that is, but it's not. Uh, it just feels weird because of how today 
has been overall and like I said how like my night routine has been very thrown off um yeah I don't know it feels like incomplete almost I don't know how to say it anyways I won't talk to you later and uh cool yeah I don't know peace loving compassion y'all and I had another one but I forgot Peace, love, and compassion. Bye.